kick on it as he's getting up, but I think it was completely legal. It's a good idea from Kevin to clinch up, though. Seems to be still completely in the fight. I don't think it was hugely rocked. He's already uh, always dangerous as Elvis and Guam and Guam. He's already gone past his first seven seconds, but he's taken a few shots. They're both lads are both extensions. Gum guard is out. Oh, both guys wasting no time whatsoever. Oh, the nasty leg kick from Elvis. Again, with a nice right cross. Seems to be having problems with the power of Nguala Nguala. We're seeing him stumble. We're seeing him getting a little shaken up here by Elvis's strikes. Nice right hook. And then Mouthpiece comes out again. Nice left high roundhouse from Pretorius. Nice right that drills him. Kevin Pretorius with a nice right hand answering the power of Nguala Nguala. Nice combinations from Elvis in reply. Pretorius is coming forward. Nice to time shoot. Nice textbook takedown. Oh, well, well, straight back to his feet, though. Goes Elvis, down goes Elvis. And Elvis back up with the scramble. Be careful of that one, disengage. Trying to power Elvis down to the mat is Kevin Pretoria's great balance. Takes three times, but he loses a point that's very, very crucial. These guys are swinging hard, swinging for the fences, swinging for the victory. So it may not even go to decision, but if it does, and there it goes again. Torres is there both swinging. Again, but is it going to matter? It's a real rock and sock and moment there. Both lads are absolutely swinging. You can see, despite the lack of fitting, Torres was biting down on that gun guard and just coming forward, just swinging. Got the single. See if he can keep Elvis down this time and does. Question is, is Bobby gonna take an opportunity of any sort of stalemate to give him that gum guard back? And what's the result gonna be? Is it gonna be another point? Um, you certainly don't want to see a fight stopped or DQ'd for losing a mouthpiece. Uh, Kevin Pretoria is looking good now in half guard. Good place to be for any test of play. Yeah, it's particularly this is the, like I said, it's the wheelhouse of the Port Elizabeth Submission Fighting Academy. Chris saying he's uh, come on leaps and bounds in his ground game, but he's only got 50 seconds left. And uh, because of the way Elvis was scoring so nicely on the feet, he's probably taking this round unless Pretorius does something very spectacular. Well, he finally got dialed in. It took him a moment. Elvis was able to land some great power shots. And then it's like he smartened up a little bit and he knew what he had to do. We saw the shot. We saw him get him down to the ground. Get this is back. not where Elvis and Guala Guala is good. He's going to get his neck up, Simon. Not Going for the arm. Good idea. Keep his arm, Bobby. He hasn't got it on. Elvis is popping out. He's, he's adjusting oh, nicely, Pretorius. Nice to dump on Guala Guala. That's him pretty deep now. It looks oh, like the elbows. Oh, Guala Guala gets out of it. That's absolutely incredible. It looks like the oh, elbow is half extended. And now it's in Guala Guala in side control. With less than 10 seconds left, Pretorius has popped out though. Coming into side, oh, what a great round. Kevin Pretorius on the left side of your screen, now on the right. In the black, in the red, Elvis and Guala and Guala. It's gonna be hard to follow up, a very exciting round number one, where it looks like they are on their way, diving in, trying to get in Guala and Guala, gets the fence and onto the mat. Great scramble by Elvis. Oh, bit of a slip on the high roundhouse from Pretorius as the cut's coming in. Yeah, beautiful scramble from Elvis, really, isn't it really? But, uh, oh, it was a nice right from Pretorius. He so, hit him hard with that right hand and turned his jaw. And Elvis continues to fight on. What a worry. Yeah, Elvis comes back with some nice left jabs of his own. That roundhouse from Pretorius just glancing off the cheek of Nguala Nguala. And he eats it. Nice spinning back fist from Pretorius. He's starting to pull on. Really get the fist in. And a nice right hook. From Pretorius and Guala Guala is still going in there. He looks like he's taking a couple of shots in Guala Guala. He's fading just a little bit. Some nice shots from Pretorius getting through. And really letting his fist to the talking is Kevin Snacks Pretorius. Well, and throwing everything at him. Throwing absolutely everything. And now down to the ground with a lot of time to go. How much energy does Elvis still have to pull off one of those great scrambles that we've seen already Put in this out. fight? 
It's one thing to do it once or twice, but yeah. you get into three, four, five times, it's really hard to get back up to your feet. And it looks like Kevin Pretorius is trying to take advantage of that right now. A lot of time on the clock. Yeah, in full mount. Like you said, plenty of time to work. Don't go up too high. So you try and take the opponent back. This is a bad place for Guadalajara, though. He's taking a lot of shots. Has to win for Pretorius. That was all action. Here comes the right. It just, and it was really just the, the, the accumulation of shots, I think, just took the gas tank out of Elvis a little bit. That's that nice right hand. Good placement of shots with Pretorius. Good head movement coming in. It was very impressive how Elvis was about to use the underhook to get back up to his feet there in the scramble. And Pretorius started laying it on. That nice right uppercut hook. Really starting to score. Good knee from Elvis. But once he was fully mounted, Torres just started to lay down some hellacious ground and pound. And Elvis and Guadalajara had no place to go. It ended quicker than I thought. Bobby K really doing a nice stoppage. And Guadalajara had no place to go. He wasn't able to defend himself. A lot of those shots starting to come through the guard of Elvis and started flailing. Good stoppage. And we also saw that Kevin Pretorius can take a punch as well as Guadalajara right out of the outset in round number one tagged him and tagged him four or five really solid times. Declaring your winner by TKO due to strikes, Kevin Snakes Pretorius! I'm here with your winner, Kevin Pretorius. Incredible fight, a fantastic fight, but you don't seem too happy with your performance. No, I'm not too happy. Uh, I feel I could have executed a few things earlier. Um, being quicker on transitions and uh, on the takedown, but how oh, we learn. How hard were those shots in the first round, and what did Chris Bright say to you between the rounds? Oh, the, the, the shots were hard. I give it to, to uh, Majuba. I, sorry, uh, Elvis. Um, but yeah, coach just said calm down, stick to the game plan, and it worked. You still insisted on letting your fist do the talking. You didn't want to take it to the ground in the second. No, I, well, obviously I wanted to throw the boxing, uh, but especially in this, in this one, I wanted to show that I'm a full MMA fighter and everything that I've learned by the, by the gym with Pesa, um, with the boys. I think that's why I'm a little disappointed. I feel I could have done much better, much quicker, but we learn. You certainly gave us more after the seven seconds of your first fight. Now 2-0, two, two spectacular finishes. When you go back to Port Elizabeth, what's the game, can, you know, game plan going to be for 2023? Oh, it just, just helps Shorty with his, uh, with his Aries fight. We're all backing him, we're all behind him. Get him ready, get Sandile ready for his April fight. And uh, just keep improving like we're all doing. The team is really, really doing well. Typical Pesca fighter thinking about your team. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Snakes Pretorius.